What is up YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Ah, oh, welcome to On The Bench Repeat, the series you put on in the background. Sorry, I had to wipe my nose there. Bit of an itch. As you hobby or paint along with me. Now I'm super excited for this episode because I want to talk about my course that I've been doing for word processing and office based skills. I want to talk about that. That's not going to be the main emphasis of this um, episode though. It'll be in the title. But what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to be doing more alien stuff. I mean, I might even be putting together the ultimate badasses. Who knows? Done the aliens, right? So they're all done. Let's just head on over to the bench. But before we do, grab your glues, brushes, models, whatever else you need for there. Or your version of it. Let's get to it. Well, here we are, folks, to my messy bench. And it is a messy bench. And do you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I said about working on the ultimate badasses, but um, actually, I might need. I might work on these um, assets and hazards. But before I do that, I've got to clean up my aliens. And we'll start from the back and work our way upwards. Now, I I fully appreciate that. Um, Some of these might already be cleaned up, as it were. And that's good if they are. The, the tails were very problematic in in this. No, I'm, I'm quite happy with him. Essentially, what I should do then is mount them. When I say mount them, I mean onto... Um, painting holders or my water bottle lids <coughs> yeah so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, each one I do uh, I spotted a bit that needs a bit of work on his arm there you go this final clean up awesome so, what am I so pumped about? Well, I, I've finished my course. I've finished my um, Word for Beginners course. I passed my assessment, um, so that'll give me that qualification now. I'll be able to go on and do the more intermediate one, which is good. And, um, you know, I can stop feeling like such a dinosaur, perhaps. And I can go on to do other other courses. Excel is the big one for me, the spreadsheet, because I'm not a numbers person. I really am not. So that one kind of scares me a little. My wife thinks I'm just uh, kind of scaring myself a bit with that one. And she's probably right. In fact, I know she's right. It's just I have to experience that in the moment. So, you know, time will tell with that one. Now that my aliens are built, I can fully appreciate the beauty of their their poses and postures. And they are going to look awesome on the board when, when they're in-game. They're just going to look amazing. Super looking forward to them. Um, now, I've seen... I've seen someone paint theirs gloss black. And to be fair, they're quite dark anyway, aren't they, the aliens? It's, it's difficult to see. But, in um, I, I'm thinking of doing mine on off black, although I'm not sure entirely what yet. I'm not sure what a colour scheme I'm going to do them in. But anyway... I guess I should address the uh, title of this <coughs> on the bench. It, as you will have seen, it's called the Revy McRevison Rides Again. Now, I wanted to do this because earlier this morning was a prime example of uh, what um, what is meant by that. Now, let me explain. First of all, for those of you that don't know Revy McRevison, Revy McRevison. <coughs> 
is a hypothetical, well, he's a fictional character, really, I suppose, created by uh, the YouTuber Mini Wargamer J. And I'll put a link to his uh, video where he addresses it, although he mentions him, you know, way before that, in terms of, uh, you know, what's going on with him. And, um, you know that guy in your neighbourhood, we've all got one, uh, the guy who likes to sit on his motorcycle and just rev it, not go anywhere. Well, Revy McRevson is that guy, we've all got one, and I've got mine. <laughs> Literally right next door. So I thought it would be fun. To kind of let the internet know that Revy McRevison rides again. Because he was there revving a motorcycle today. Now in the case of Mini Wargamer J. It was his old neighbour. Because he doesn't live in that neighbourhood anymore. You know he's moved on. The pasture's new and whatever else. And... Um... <laughs> He, he used to just sit on his motorcycle and rev it at the weekends. Never could, not drive it anyway, just sit on it and rev it. And that, and that was what he would do. That was it. Um, which he found quite bizarre and, you know, annoying as well at the same time. Which, yeah, you know, it would. Especially when you're trying to do stuff like film. But I, he used to crack me up, Jay, when he used to say, see if he's dad doing it. And he just would say out of the blue, he sure loves to rev that motorcycle. And um, <laughs> I would just crack up at it. And so this is a homage to that, really. Um, you know, it's it's kind of an in-joke thing. And um, yeah. In my case, Ravi McRevison, I think he buys and sells the odd vehicle. Now and again, motorcycle, scooter, what have you. And very often he will come, he will just go out and sit on it and rev it. And I need to check my phone because that's the second message I've had come through. Just take that down. It's probably my wife congratulating me. I'm passing my course. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, that's one of them. How bizarre. My phone definitely went off twice, but I only had one message. That is quite bizarre. You ever get that? Anyway, so that is the tale of Revy McRevison. Well, the tale of Revy McRevison, the tale of Revy McRevison, was um, was Jay's um, video on the subject. So I'm just doing one called uh, Revy McRevison rides again because he was he was there again this morning. And he was revving that scooter or motorcycle, whatever it was, like a small motorbike or like a two-stroke engine. Sometimes it, it can be a four stroke, you know, that and a sort of frotier noise. But, uh, yeah. Revy McRevison. I just thought that was hilarious, so I wanted to keep it going. Yeah, Revy McRevison rides again. He sure does. He sure loves to rev that motorcycle. And I find that pretty funny. Okay, so... That, that was definitely... Oh, that's free uh, messages now. You heard it, folks. I can play this back. <laughs> Yes, congratulations. I scored 88%. I needed 80% to pass. I got 88%. Um, but the things I got wrong were, were stupid little things. Just, oh, 
I don't know. I knew what I meant. I said toolbar instead of status bar in one of my answers. And, you know, things like that. And I thought, oh, I knew, I knew this. I knew it. I know it. I know it. But, you know, that's okay. I've got, I've got the um, certificate now. Or, or the proof. Got everything I need for that. So, onwards and upwards, I say. And, you know, the future is going to look good. No, you know, part of me, I'm, I'm not sure whether I, I go on to the, um, the next intermediate uh, word processing course, or go on to the Excel beginner course. Much as I fear numbers, <laughs> I'm thinking of doing the Excel course to you know because. It'll make me more rounded, a more rounded basic office person, I think. And I'm looking forward to be able to apply for office work. It's going to be so cool. I Apologies for my phone. It's because I I did text my wife, obviously. She's asking me to email her a nice photo of myself, and I'm saying, to where? Because she's going to um, upload it. I don't know what on. It's all, it's all good. It's all going to help me um, get ahead in life. I'll move forward with my, I I'm just I'm just chuffed to have been able to do it. I want to keep on top of it now. I did some practice exercises, um, you know, tabbing and indenting, uh, you know, like paragraph formatting, you know, all that kind of basic stuff, format painting, and all the rest of it. So I did all that. So I've got a load of documents, <laughs> like test ones, really. It was just me playing about with it. But I'm so I'm so chuffed to have passed it. You know, I could do basic. Uh, you know, I'm I'm qualified to a basic level now. On word. This is good news for me. It's like knowledge of word, a must, and things like that, you know. It's usually hand in hand with Excel, isn't it? Knowledge of word and Excel, a must. So I get the Excel one, and then I can say, yeah, I've got knowledge of Excel. Might not be the uh, most amazing at it, but you know I can do it. Sorry to go off camera here. I'm just I'm just clipping little bits on the pointy bits on his tail here, and I love how I've got the tails all really different on these guys. I shall do a do a little bit of a showcase. Do a little bit of a showcase of them. And then uh, what we can look into painting them. I wish I had a test mini. I should have a look see if I've got any spare gene stealers or or stuff because um even if it's just parts of a gene stealer I might have some arms. Possibly do a body and an arm. 
just so that I can uh, test a paint scheme that I want to... Well, I've got several ideas in mind. If I'm doing off black, I could go uh, green black, blue black, purple black, red black, brown black. green, blue or purple. So narrowing it down to three. So I could do a test paint on them to see what they look like. I know they won't be the same models, but uh, it might give me an idea for what the, the, these guys will look like once they're painted. Also, I'll do the bases the same as the ones for the Marines. And um, and we'll be in good shape. So I realised my phone is right next to the microphone. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. She's just telling me about uh, uploading photos. Now. This is all going to be for helping me secure a job. Not that there's anything wrong with the job I have, uh, apart from, um, I know I'm not going to be able to do it, you know, long term. I think in 12 months time, I'll be really, really struggling with it. Um, just a factor of my MS, whereas um, an office based role you know I'll be good I'll be good to go I'll have the confidence in myself in word to be able to to, to produce the goods you know and hopefully excel too Hopefully, I, you know, proving to my wife to that I'm I'm serious about wanting longevity in my working role. And if I can, oop, nearly dropped him on the floor. If I can uh, get these qualifications that I need, oh, I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> if I get these qualifications, uh that I need then I'll be able to show that I'm, I'm serious about this um, and um, I'll, I'll be able to I don't know have a better future for us uh, you know so, so that um I can really do my part, as it were, because at the moment, you know, I, it it's uh, you know it's tough, you know, financially, like it is for a lot of people. Um, in order to have things we like and need, you know, it it it's requires a lot of overtime. Um, so if I could get a job that might Oops, and his arms just come off. Might pay a little better. Yeah, if I can uh, get a job, that'll pay a little better for me. Or even look to somewhere to do a like a business um, apprenticeship role. I realise that won't, the, the pay won't be so good on that, but um, that will only be temporary, won't it? Um, yeah, that will only be temporary, and I'll... Uh, I can climb up. Doesn't need... I, I don't need high uh i'm not looking for 
loads of responsibility in a job. I've I've done that. I've been there. I've done that. I'm still very much, you know, um, I I just would like a job that I can do, and then come home, but one that isn't going to knack me out physically, or impede my private uh, life after, you know. Whereas at the moment, if I do like a, a four day shift, I spend the next day, the whole day, recovering. So I kind of miss a day, I, I, I lose a day almost. And you know, that that's not, not fun. So just, I just need to adapt and, you know, maybe even a role that I can do from home. You know, because we've got a computer um, and I've got a, a laptop. Well, my laptop isn't that great, but um, I've got a MacBook. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that probably wouldn't be used for uh, a working um, situation. But, um, yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless, really. I think. I'm just looking here. I'll probably see even more when I come to paint or even prime. I'm not looking to um not looking to do loads here majority i think the majority of cleanup <laughs> should have been done by now and you know it has been but you're going to get the odd one that slips through the net. And this is also, this episode is going to put me um, another episode ahead so the Revy McRaverson rides again is instrumental in helping me get ahead in the video stakes Not three left to check his arms just popped off too now I'm wondering if this is down to the type of plastic we have here. Hmm. It's strange. I mean, I'm wondering if if I was to go around and just lightly pull on all the arms, whether they'd all pop off. I don't know. I'm not inclined to do that. This one seem okay. And yeah, I scored them. That's the funny thing. Scored the contact points to hopefully allow them to bond better. So there, you know, definitely do that with these things, with these guys. I mean, you've got no choice on that if you want them to bond. Okay, 
I think he's okay. It's all about getting these guys ready. Do I airbrush prime these or do I hand brush prime them? I kind of like hand brush priming, just always have. I mean, there's tons of detail on these models, but are you going to see it? I mean, if you paint them all black, for instance, you're going to see it, are you? The dry brush, I mean, you could... You could then dry brush them, but I don't know. Just looking. Now one of these had a broken tail. <laughs> Tails hook on D onto you. <laughs> one of these had a broken tail. I think we we'll, I think we did okay. Right, okay, so that's that. Right, obviously you need to let um, them dry now. So I'm on to assets and hazards now. Um, that's this one here. Actually, I want to fix some heating on. Phone didn't go off at all, did it? Not that I recall. No, 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 that's good. Half an hour in. So I'm going to do some assets and hazards. Now I've done one. I've done a, a sentry gun here and that's going to replace uh, the cardboard ones of uh, from the game and the computer console here which is going to look a lot better than the cardboard ones obviously the crates don't need any assembling they're just one piece affairs uh, so we'll just clean up really My daughter's completed the first wall in her bedroom, which she's chuffed about, and rightly so. Always good when you do your first, uh, you know, sort of thing like that, isn't it? You know, took her to uh, pick up. I had to get my prescription anyway, so I, I drove her down. She she went in for me. Um, it's awful weather here. Uh, but whilst we were out, she was able to pick up her um, uh, the child from the Mandalorian, <laughs> Baby Yoda, animatronic version. She's, you know, she's really dead chuffed with. Um, because she bought it through Argus, and it just happened that they were able to deliver it to the supermarket so that coincided nicely with an essentials shopping run we needed some bit which obviously she got and um, my prescription too so that was all good I will say baby Yoda the child Grogu whatever you want to call him he is very cute. I suspect his batteries will run out pretty quickly though because you know his cuteness overcomes anything. Makes you want to keep petting him and you know loving him and all that kind of stuff. I've got my coffee in my trusty R2 mug. You may see it here. Amongst all this mess I've got in front of me. I've got these sprues and cutters and goodness knows what. But, you know. But 
one computer terminal. I did yesterday, actually. I did it on the bench yesterday. It's edited and rendered now. I do edit well, on the benches. I, I take out the longest of silences. I, I appreciate um, there's going to be instances of silence that I can't help necessarily. Can I get a better camera in here? I know it's a bit like you know, late in the day, but yeah, it's a little bit better, isn't it? And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all good. Told you, didn't I? I planted my Christmas tree. That was uh, that seems to be taking in the garden quite well. Did a spot of gardening the other day, my wife and I. And there was a break in the weather. Muddy as heck, though. I mean, I mean, serious, serious mud. There, yeah, but it made it made the earth nice and soft, able to um, dig the hole for the tree nicely. This sort of 3D terrain here, uh, effectively, is going to be useful for my alien RPG as well. Because um, the survey I put out recently about um, what would you like my next solo RPG campaign to be, what genre, coming up as sci-fi at the moment it's coming up as the votes are heading uh, towards sci-fi has got the most votes so far rest assured I will do all genres eventually but um, I have the aliens RPG game you may uh, you may know this And uh, it's got to be one of the best RPG systems I've ever seen. I think it's won an award, actually. If I remember right, it's won some kind of award, anyway. So this, me doing on the bench, this is my little treat to myself for passing my uh, assessment, my exam. Looking forward to the next one. Which I may, I may start tomorrow. That's, it's, it's mostly the reason behind why there hasn't been many videos from me. I can do these, this type of video. I can't do the uh, the role-playing one, though. Um, there's too much setup um, at the moment. Not with the other stuff going on. So I just need to get my real life uh, on track, as it were. And then I can get back to some gaming. Um, I am seriously missing my solo RPG exploits at the moment right now I'm gonna do a face hugger I've got a face hugger here which I'm going to do now these on the game are represented by flat tokens but of course I mean they're not I don't think they're I don't think you use them on the board I think you use them on the character tiles but um, I 
you can ease so easily overlook a flat cardboard token. I noticed this in um, Resi. You know, it's 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 you don't always see it. You know, to remind you, oh yeah, you got that condition on you or or whatever. You know. These also be uh, useful in an alien RPG game. Facehuggers. Yeah, boy. Happy with that. Look at that. Let's zoom in a little. Just a tad. Let's have some of my drink. Mm, mm, mm. What time do we have here? It's gone three o'clock. That's good. I have plenty of time, folks. Plenty of time. And this is this is just gorgeous. I'm gonna clip off one of the crates. Hmm. Not the easiest task, it would seem. So no um, construction involved at all there. But cleanup is the um, the big thing. could learn a thing or two from Games Workshop about uh, models and sprues and things where to have the contact points and all that but I love aliens so <laughs> uh, yeah, good. there's a little bit of forgiveness going on here that sounded like an eBay notification. I was surprised at how busy it was traffic wise. I, you know, when I went out today, when I drove my daughter down to the um, supermarket, quite a bit of traffic. Out and about. That's going to be useful too in um, an RPG setting because every every ship has cargo of some description on it, doesn't it? it has a, has cargo crates of something. And these are Wayland Utani ones, of course. But I mean, you can get you can pick up. Um, just like third party ones, neutral ones as it were. Yeah, this is uh, this is clean up. This is um This is a nicer modeling experience than uh, the other day of doing the aliens. Yesterday, actually. I didn't enjoy them at all. But at least I've done them now. They're done. Painting them is another matter. That, that's different altogether. That's, that, that is totally enjoyable. And 
they do seem um, like they could be nice models to paint. So that's a better. That's not bad. They're just they're just crates. That that's all they are with Wayland Utani uh, logos on them. Uh, you know the hollow, so they they don't need to be solid. But um, that's all they are. They're crates. I'll do another. Do another one. Am I going to do? Well, I've got eggs to do here. Actually, what's the A and B thing all about? Two face huggers. Two eggs. And oh, sentry gun. I think these A and B things are for the sentry guns. Yeah, that's what they're for. Yeah. A and B. Because you've got the um, ammo dials for the guns. You obviously got them for the conventional. I don't realize I'm just clipping off C1, C2, and C3 here. Well, the eggs obviously uh, go together, there's two, like, two halves to them. Love the way they've been painted as well, these eggs here. On the front, can you see those there? Those eggs, I love the way they've been painted. Absolutely love it. I'm going to try and emulate that as best I can. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys are working on. I know you're all working on like a plethora of uh, projects now. Um... Jamjar34, have you seen his uh, Warbus Tay painting challenge stuff? That's pretty awesome. Check that out. I always love watching those. Um, those painting challenge videos, particularly the ones he does, uh, Jamjar, I find them really motivating. They, they motivate me to want to do stuff. Not the painting challenge per se, but to, to, to moti it motivates me on to do my own stuff. And yeah, I, I like the concept behind that painting challenge. Maybe one day I'll do it. I just... Uh, can't do it at the moment, but uh, I do, I will do one day. Perhaps... Even if I do them retrospectively. Does it matter? I'm wondering. What way around these eggs go in the little base things here? I'm thinking it probably doesn't. Not gonna take it for granted though, so let's pick the base up and hold it. I watched an episode of the Oh it does go one way. Right, that's so that's, I'm okay, cool with that. 
watched an episode of The Order uh, yesterday. Last night. Oh, rats, come on now. There we are. Blue, that is. There, yeah, so that's one egg done. These are really cool. The different stages of opening by the looks of it. Well, there's. There's definitely one that's about to open, and uh, that's really cool. I like that. So, yeah. These crates look like they could be the most laborious um, part of assets and hazards, due to the mould line that goes around them. I'll just cut off a few of these to get them out of the way. What's he doing over there? Right. Anyway. So what do you think about the tale of Revy McRevison? Let me know in the comments below if you've got a Revy McRevison in your neighbourhood. That would be quite funny. Revy McRevison rides again. I'm doing this egg that's uh, opening. This is cool. Well, I'm going to end the, the video after I've done this egg and um, yeah, I'll call it there. It's pretty snazzy. Painting challenges. Going back to that though. Yeah, keep them coming, guys, because I love watching them. I mean, you know, the stuff. I mean, I don't do Age of Sigma or fan the fantasy stuff as much. I, mean, I intend to one day. It's one of those things. I know nothing about it, really. I'm not, I'd like to, so I suppose what I would I would need is some sort of law book. Kind of... Um, get up to speed with it, you know. That is what I would need. So yeah, that the main thing I wanted to tell you was I passed my course and I'm super chuffed about it. I passed my course. I'm looking forward to doing another one. And um, yeah, so all these good things. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be super duper employable more so than I am now. Right, I'm going to call that... I'll wait for that to dry before I put him in his egg base. Right, so glass is off. Another sip of coffee. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. Thank you for joining me on this episode of On The Bench. I've got my aliens are all um, prepped. Now ready for priming. Next time I might and do the marines who knows i don't know anyway thanks so much for joining me let's zoom out a little bit remember all brushes lead to war please like the video if you if you like if you like it dislike it if you dislike it i'm okay with that too and um yeah share subscribe on all that other youtube goodness thanks again see you on the next one bye for now